in this video, I'm going to show you how to add variable product to Vipa e-commerce website. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, enable the bell icon so that you'll be notified for new video updates. So go to your product, go to the product, then click on this plus icon, the blue plus icon, then select variable. So enter the product name, I'll write shirts, then enter the price, then write a description about the product, 100% cotton, then click create. So if you look here, you can see we have zero variants. So to create a variant, go back to your control panel and go to attributes. We are going to create attribute first. So click on this plus icon. Then select the attribute you want to create. You can create size, color, or weight. So I'm going to select color. Then click create. So go back to the product. Go back to the product. Then click on the product, the variable product. Then scroll to attribute. Click on this plus icon to add your attribute. So I'm going to select red and click create. Then click on the plus icon, select blue and click create. I'm going to create three attributes. So click on the plus icon again, select black and click create. So when you are done, click the blue plus icon. So go to your variants, click on the plus icon to add your variant, click on the drop down, I will select the red, then click on the gallery to add the red product, click choose from gallery to upload the red image, so I will select the red shirt and click upload. Now enter the price of the red shirt and click create. Now repeat the process again, click on the plus icon, click the drop down and select the another product. So I'll select the blue, upload the blue product image. So I'll choose the image of the blue shirt, then upload the image, then enter the price of the blue shirt and click create. So I will repeat the process for the black shirt. I've done that. So when you are done, go back to details and click save. So if we go back to our control panel, you can see the shirts are here. So if you go back and click preview, click preview to visit your store. So if a customer visit our store like this, you can see that the variable product is here. So they can click and select the product, the variable product. You can see we have red, blue, and black. So each of them have different price. So a customer can select the red product. They can view the product. So they can select the red, blue, or black product. So when they select the product, add the blue product to their cart and add the red product to their cart. If they click view cart, they click, you can see the blue and the red product have the same image. So to change this, we need to go back. When you click on each of the product, you can see the same image is what is appearing for each of the product. So we need to change the image that appears for a specific product. So to do that, go back and click the product, the variable product. Now scroll to variant. Scroll to variant. Now click on this image icon here for the black product. You are going to upload the black image. So click gallery. Choose the black product. So this is the black product. We'll upload the black product then click save. 
So repeat the product, repeat the process for the blue product. Choose the blue product and upload it for the blue variant and click save. And repeat the pro process for the third one. Choose the red product and click save. Then go back to your details and click save. So your changes will be made. So when a customer select the products, each of them, the image will appear. So if you click the black, the black image will appear. So when they add the black product to their cart and the red product, you can see that the black and the red product images have appeared for each. So they can click continue to buy this product. So they will click continue and they will click continue again. They will enter their WhatsApp number here and click place order. So when they place order, they will receive an invoice like this. And you, the owner of the store, will receive a message from Vapor. So if you open the message, you can track this order. To add new attributes, you can click on attributes. Click on the plus icon to create your new attribute. So you can choose weight. So I'll click size. I'll add the size attribute. So click create. So go back to the product, the variable product, then scroll down to your attribute. Click on this plus icon behind the size, then enter the size value you want. So I'll enter M stands for medium and click create. Click the plus icon, enter L for large and click create. Repeat the process the third time and put SL for extra large and click create. When you are done, click on this plus. So you can now apply the size attribute. So when you click apply, the size attribute will now be applied to your store. So that's it guys. This is how to create the attribute. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Enable the bell icon to receive more videos like this. See you in the next video.